Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. What a new treat, right? I have not been live on a Saturday morning in forever, but I thought I would um, come on, go live, do a fun, we're gonna do a, a Dollar Tree DIY mixed with some of our awesome stencils. So you're gonna, this is gonna be so cute. I have my coffee because it's morning still. And um, let's have a little bit of fun. So bear with me as I um, do this because I'm live on Instagram and Facebook and this is new for me. I have not done Instagram live, um, gosh, in a long, long time. So bear with me, you guys. We are going to, let's see who is here. Well, good morning. Hi, Carol and Anita. Hey, Susanna. I know, mom, I know, I'm sorry. I was like, Trying to keep my boys quiet because, you know, that's just fun. Um, good morning, Marilyn. So I figured I would catch, hi Anita, I would catch a lot of new people. Go ahead and say hello if you jump on, especially if you're over on Instagram so I can see how it works, see if it works. Um, say hello if you're watching on Instagram, I would love to see how this works because I don't know like I I can't see the live Ryan say hello on Instagram so I can see how it works good morning April I know it's Saturday morning Lisa I'm here hi Diane hi Aaron all right so we're gonna do a fun project oh good 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 oh hi Doreen I can see it now hi Sue hi Ryan oh good Mary hello Woohoo! Oh, welcome. You guys, if you are new, and I'm I'm gonna say this, but I don't know if Instagram Live works the same way as a regular post. So I'm gonna let you know if you are new, you can comment VIP and I will send you a link where you can join my free DIY and crafting group. If it doesn't work and you don't get a DM from me, a message from me, um, the link is in my bio. Uh, for my free group, but also it is um, something that you can comment on any of my posts or my reels, and then you can also get that message. Um, but go ahead and try it and see if it works because I will be giving you the key word for today. So all the time when I'm doing a project, I will um, give you a key word to type so that you can get the link to find all the supplies. Today we're using a Dollar Tree, um, what are these called? It's a plaque. This is like the squarish re or rectangle-ish one. So these are like $1.25 at Dollar Tree, or you can also get them at dollartree.com, um, but you have to buy multiple of them. I love these. It's a great little surface, and I'm gonna, I love it even more for what I'm gonna show you. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint this a little bit, and um, I can change my view for you so that you get kind of a better sense of um, what I'm doing here. So you can see kind of like top down, but you can also see my face. Good morning, Karen. Hi, Inez. Yay, so glad you guys are with me this morning. So I'm going to spray the wood with water. This is just gonna help me coat my chalk paste that I'm gonna be using because, um, especially on these edges. I'm just gonna use a little bit of our white um, and I'm just gonna paint, all right? Now everybody is like, oh, what kind of paint are you using? And it really isn't paint, um, it's not. It, this is a chalk paste and um, it, it works really well as a paint, especially for your DIY projects um, the things that I do, it has a few different properties that paint does not have, okay? So, so this is more of a paste, and I want more of like a distressed look, so that's why I'm using it. When I want full coverage, I will not add any water to this, but when I want kind of like a whitewash, then I'm going to add the water, which is like I did. What I love about this, you guys, is that it is completely washable with water. You don't even need soap. 
completely washable. So all of this on my surface, it's gonna wash up in a second. All of it on my hands, it's gonna wash up. So I do this and then we're gonna dry it. Inside the um, supply list, you guys, you're gonna see everything I'm using. It doesn't mean you need to go out and get every single thing I'm using, but you're gonna see, good morning, Christine. You're gonna see my mat. You're gonna see my tools. You're gonna see my quick dry tool, which is just a fun way to dry quickly. Um, you could use a hair dryer. I love our quick dry tool. It has an easy, it's not heavy. It's got this nice handle. It doesn't get super hot at all. Um, it's just a blower inside that has two speeds. So you'll see all of this in the link. However, like you don't need to have this right away. If you're brand new, you can get away with just grabbing the stencil, your chalk paste and a squeegee to get started. All of this is in, um, oh, I didn't set up a word, but all you have to do is comment carrot. Um, if you're on YouTube, and I don't know if I can, because you can't put links in the comments here on Instagram. I'm still learning everything. Um, even though I've been on Instagram for years and years and years and years, there are still things that I can do on Facebook that I cannot do on Instagram. All right, so I found a few spots that I missed, which always, I feel like that always happens to me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and touch those up real quick. And we're gonna get going. We are gonna do a little sanding on this because that's kind of one of my favorite things to do. And I do, I do sand after I add my base color um, just for a little bit of that distressing it's this is actually going to be a really quick fun project just going to add a little bit of more white on here and we'll make sure to get it completely dry so you can comment with the word carrot okay it's working awesome on youtube I don't, I'm worried that it's not gonna work on Instagram and that's okay. Um, I can still pop that. What you can do, you guys, is copy. You can copy and paste this link. Uh, uh, um, this is the carrot supplies. I'm gonna call it carrot supplies. And it's a really short link. I just popped it into those comments on Instagram, Doreen. I know. Um, I wish it would work, but I think you could copy that. It's um, it's a really short link. You might be able to just like type it in. I that's annoying. I know, but I can. What will happen is after I do this project, I will put a picture photo on Instagram. I will put the keyword carrot, and when you comment on that photo, 100%, actually, you could go comment on any of my photos, the word carrot, and it'll send it to you. But because we're live, I think it's not working. Ryan, can you try to comment the word carrot and then see if you get a message? I know that it's not replying to you. I guess lives are just totally different. All right, so we get this all set. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of sanding you guys can use a piece of sandpaper. You could use a sanding block. I love my sander. Um, I'll show it to you. Oh my gosh, it is my favorite. It's one of these, um, I don't know, round, I, I forget the word, rotary, whatever. Um, it does a really good job of sanding. <laughs> all the time is because it is so fast for my lives and for my videos. I don't have to do a ton of sanding. If all I wanted to do 
was just take a little bit of that color off. I could easily do it this way. And you can still do touch-ups, but I just love that. All right, so then I'm just gonna wipe off all of the little bits and pieces that I have on there. There we go. Okay, so now we are gonna do some wax. I am gonna put wax on this surface. The reason why I'm doing wax, so if you've never seen any of my stencils before, you're gonna notice that the stencils are actually adhesive on the back and then they are reusable. So you do not have to, number one, use one stencil for one project and throw it away. It is, it's a silk screen stencil. And so when I apply this wax over my, either my paint, my raw wood or my chalked wood, like I just did today, it's giving a sealant barrier to the top of this wood. So it's protecting my wood and it's protecting the adhesive backing on this. This is like a sticker. It's like a sticker. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to do a little fuzzing. If you are familiar with any sort of like paper crafting or crafting in general, fuzzing is where you take something sticky and you just stick it to something fabric. This is my fuzzing cloth. It's a terry cloth fuzzing cloth and I'm just going to really quickly get it a little less sticky. But the cool thing is when you wash this after we use it, that lint comes off and it's back to its original stick. So I'm just gonna lay this onto my surface like so. Just making sure it's kind of centered for where I want it to go. All right, perfect. This is the perfect size. Um, this is one of, this is our smallest size of stencil. We call them transfers. However, it is basically a silkscreen stencil. And you can see all of the detail. There's a lot of detail in there. You cannot get this much detail when you're creating your own stencils with vinyl. It's just not happening, you guys. Hmm? How long is your My live is gonna be as long as it is. That's all I can tell you. If you have questions about what I'm doing, pop them in the comments. Ryan can help me by watching a little bit. Um, and um, we'll see. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is my, actually, no, I'm gonna do my green first. So I have, I just wanna show you, I'm one of those people who loves to use like a little bit of muted colors. And so I kind of want to change up and I'm doing this on the fly, you guys. I am totally doing this on the fly. I was not planning this, but wherever my creative bug takes me, that's what I do. So I am actually going to put some of my meadow and orange peel. I took these colors because we have easy single use packets. So if you're new, you can get these colors in a real small amount to try it out. Um, otherwise, um, we do have some better colors, but I'm gonna take a little black and mix it in here and just deepen this color. I like a little muted to my colors. I don't want it to be like super bright to where it's like primary kindergarten colors. You know what I'm saying? So that's a nice deep green. And then I'm gonna do the same to my orange. You do not need a lot. I'm telling you that even might be too much. You just need a tiny, tiny bit to darken this color up. And it's still gonna be orange. It's just gonna be a little bit deeper. I might have to add, I might have, like I said, I might have even added a little too much. So we'll add a little bit more orange to get that orangey feeling. But muted, that's my favorite. I'm telling you, you don't need, 
I added quite a bit there of the black. So here we go. Okay, much better right here. This is a great color. All right, now we've got our orange, we've got our green. We're gonna make our carrots on here that muted, the muted colors. Hi, Kelly Wallace. Yay. Um, and I'm gonna use one of our little baby squeegees. This is called a multi-tool. And I'm gonna do our green first. So I'm just going to get a little bit of the green on here. And I'm just going to apply it to the green parts of these carrots. Now, the cool thing is that you do have a lot of control with this tool. You're holding it like a pencil. So we're very, we're very familiar with this sort of thing, this sort of tool. And so it's a little more comfortable. I'm gonna go right down to the carrots with this, the part that's gonna be orange. All right, so we've got this on here. If you can spread butter onto toast, you can chalk. That's what I have to tell you. Um, I am gonna go ahead and grab a, another one of those for my orange. And we're just going to <clears throat> yeah you're good okay. thank you we're just gonna do this there we go it's kind of a mustardy orange but I love it because I am so not a vibrant color if you're a vibrant color person you need to use the um, the, the main colors that I started with, instead of mixing with anything else. Then, the rest of this, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and do with our black. And I'm just gonna use one of our mini squeegees here, um, just to get a little bit more coverage. It'll be a little bit easier to do. And again, you're just kind of, you're literally using your squeegee like a scraping tool to scrape this chalk paste. It is very creamy. I know we call it paste. It is a creamy paste. And so um, it's easy to spread, it really is. And the best part is it is totally water soluble. So you literally wash with water. I'm gonna share with you how I wash my transfers. You'll be amazed, I mean, it's really, I got a little bit of orange on there, so I'm just gonna grab a paper towel and kind of get that off. And I'm just gonna go across the bottom here and fill in these other letters. So it's so simple. The chalks that have the most pigment can stain your transfer, but that doesn't mean, you guys, it doesn't mean that um, it's like ruined or anything. All right, so let's go ahead and peel. Ooh, yes, that is exactly the color that I wanted. I know you probably can't see the color perfectly, but there we have it. And we're gonna do some extra, so hold on. I'm gonna set this aside and I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna wash this. Normally I take it into a water tub. I'm gonna show you what I do. We have these awesome board erasers. Board erasers are this really cool um, kind of a sponge. And so right now I have this stuck down to my surface. And it's plastic, this is our, um, washable um, work mat and I'm just going to kind of um, get all the chalk off of here and yes I am wiping the back the sticky side yes we do clean the back so we get all of the chalk off if I was just in a bath of water which is what I, I normally do I would just be um, washing this with I'm, right now I'm wiping off all of the little um, the lint the fibers that I had put on there because I stuck it and then my final step I'm just going to grab a disinfectant wipe 
always a disinfectant wipe, never a baby wipe or a skin wipe. And you just go ahead. This is a quick way, if you don't have water, use the disinfectant wipe. They work just as well as water. And then once this is totally clean, you guys, all you're gonna do is let it set and dry. Once this dries completely, the sticky side is gonna be way sticky again. When you let it set, make sure that the sticky side is facing up so that it gets sticky again and it's not stuck to your surface because then it will ruin it. It'll just completely ruin it because it gets really sticky. The other side, you just lay it flat like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead, lay it down here. It's gonna dry. I'm gonna dry this. We, I'm gonna do a little embellishing on here. So I'm gonna remove some of this stuff so that I have a nice clean work surface. And we'll take care of all of my little tools and everything that I use. They are, um, they are washable, reusable, um, which I love not having to like buy new things all the time. This paste lasts a very, very long time. It is awesome. It is um, branded to us. I'm a designer with the company Chalk Couture and we have our own branded materials. Some things that we use are, you know, kind of generic to the field, like paint brushes and, um, you know, like my work mat, things like that. They're, but, but they're specifically um, branded to us. This size is really important because it fits our largest stencils. Our largest stencils are 18 inches by 24 inches. So that's pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. You guys have plans today, this weekend? Who's watching the Super Bowl tomorrow? I know I will be. All right, so I'm gonna pop on my hot glue and get that good and ready to go. But before I do that, I'm gonna show you, we have this pretty cool gilding wax. Oh, I think I forgot to put that in the cart link. Shoot, well, um, this is on my website. You can use silver or gold. And I'm thinking I'm gonna go with gold just to pull out that, those carrots, just to use because of those carrots. So this is, it is Dixie Belle gilding wax. So if you've ever seen it, heard it, used it before, um, it's pretty cool. You, it, you, it comes with a ton. It's very full and you can apply this a couple different ways. You can use a little paintbrush. You could use like this little like makeup sponge. You could use the little paint sponge, the like throwaway paint sponge thing. It, it doesn't matter. When I use these little paint sponges and makeup sponges, it does, uh, when I use it on the, the raw wood, it does eat it up a bit. So I'm going to use my paintbrush and I'm just gonna go in and get a little of this on here. And um, I'm gonna just kind of put it on the edges of this. Now a little bit goes a long, long way. So I was really light handed when I first started because I knew it was gonna go on pretty, I had a lot on my brush basically. But the more, um, let's see, just gonna kind of even some of this stuff out. And then you can even go in, let me get a little tiny bit more for up here. You can even go in and with like a soft cloth and, and kind of buff it even more. So that's what I'm gonna do. Maybe I'll put a little bit on inside my carrots so that they don't, it's kind of a cool gold color. Um, so then it kind of looks like my carrots are not white. Ooh, I like it. That looks really good. Okay, now, 
This will take a minute to dry, but I am gonna come in with a soft cloth. Let me grab one. Um, and just kind of really buff it in. It does take a second to dry, so you can easily come back in and do a little buffing after the fact. There we go. Oh my gosh, you guys, this looks so good. And I'm not quite done. I want to add a little, we're gonna do just a little jute. It has a little wrap on here. I don't know if you guys can see, see that little wrap on there. I'm just gonna take my jute and I'm gonna make like the tiniest little bow. And once I pull it, of course, one side's always longer than the other. So I wanna adjust that and make sure it's gonna look cute. Okay. That looks pretty good. And then I'm just gonna trim the edges off of there. And I'm literally just gonna do a little hot glue and tack it on. So cute, so simple, so easy. Oh, basketball, Carol, awesome. Okay, so I have my hot glue, which is ready. And I'm just gonna pop it on. So cute. Hope San Francisco wins. Oh my goodness. No. We have lots. I know. Chiefs have to win. What, Easton? Chiefs have to win. Chiefs have to win. Easton is a die hard um, Lions fan. What about Toronto? He is a die hard Lions fan, so he wants both teams to lose, FYI. Yes. So, so you guys, look how cute. I love it. This is, we're getting ready for spring. We're getting ready for Easter. Um, I have, I usually do all sorts of things. I always have a tear tray working on a tear tray. We're going to do a tear tray for Easter. We're going to do um, little vignettes. We're going to do some big things. I'm going to do some tapestries. Oh my gosh. Stay tuned for all of those projects that I have coming up. So many cute little bunny carrot things that are happening with me. So this is our first little project that I'm sharing for Easter. And thank you. I thought so too. Like, so you guys, this gold gilding wax, I forgot to put it in the cart link. So you can easily search for it. You type it in the search bar, um, gilding wax, or maybe type in gold and see whatever. But um, it is this, and it's in the accessories, um, spot on the shopping website go 49 uh, robin i knew I, I know i know i know 49ers it's fine i'm probably rooting for the chiefs um but anyway so so fun and you guys this was a dollar tree dollar tree um piece of wood so easy to convert these into and then if you're a creator or maybe a maker out there who, where you make things and sell it, think of this. These little plaques, $1.25. Once you have the transfer, you can make multiple because look, they're reusable. So once you make one, you can make 10 more. Um, they're $1.25, obviously, plus your other supplies. And if you ever wanted to be a creator like me, I mean, a designer like me, all you have to do, um, go ahead and comment team and I'll send you a message, uh, T-E-A-M, and I will send you all the info. Say hello to Easton. Uh, um, I'll send you the info on how you can get your products at wholesale, become a team member of mine, and I will teach you all the ropes. Um, you can sell these for you know, in, in craft fairs, you can sell them on Etsy, you can sell them on Facebook, however you want to do it. But um, really easy, inexpensive DIYs. Keep following me, make sure you're following me um, on your favorite page. Like if you like YouTube, go to YouTube. If you are an Instagram girl, 
stay here or guy facebook i'm everywhere so you can find creative sarah anywhere um hopefully you found value in this video and that you will start following me okay. if you don't already hi margaret yeah she said hello hello yeah so um stick with me we've got lots more projects like this today it was um awesome to have a little coffee and chalk with you today if you have any questions you can gosh i don't know if mm, i'm still learning how instagram live works so if it disappears after i shut it down i won't be able to reply to your comments Why but you can find my page delay? there is a big delay it is. There's a big delay. That's just how lives go. Um, okay. Anyway, thought I would share. Oh my gosh, this turned out even better than I literally even better than I expected it to. I'm so excited. So now I have a theme for literally some of my other projects. I have a really cute bunny one. I'm going to have to kind of use the similar colors so I can put them all together. All right, you guys have an amazing rest of your Saturday. Have a great weekend. And if you're watching the Super Bowl, have fun. We will be two. Oh, Amy, Aunt Amy said hi. Hi. Look at the camera. There's a nine second delay. There's a nine second delay, you guys. Crazy, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Maureen. I appreciate it. Everybody have a great weekend, and we'll see you next time. Bye.